What makes you think there's something going on? Oh, come on, there's nothing in here. You're gonna get us in trouble. You left it on. Ben's our friend, Alicia. We've got a right to know. What's post-exposure prophylaxis? HIV? That can't be it. Have you ever seen Haydock run anywhere? So? Why did she go off running when I told her about Ben? You two heading home? I'm going back to school. I thought the nurse told you to take it easy. Yeah, but I want to get on with my set. I don't know what's got into kids these days. I'd give me right arm for a week off work. This will be all right, won't it? Don't worry about a thing. I promised it was going to be different this time. And it will. I'm not going to let him go through all that again, Miss Haydock. Look, stop worrying. But I talked to your deputy. Yeah, well, I'll put Mr Lawson straight. There's no need for anybody else to know about this. Thanks. There you are, you see? Look how important you are. You've laid on a welcoming committee. How are you feeling, Ben? Ben, thanks. Why don't we go up to my office? There isn't a problem, is there, Mr Rimmer? We'll discuss this upstairs, yeah? Steph, have you checked your phone messages recently? I've had rather more pressing things to sort out, Mr Rimmer. Danielle. Come on, Ben. It's Mrs. McNulty's call, Jack. I've got to respect the parents' wishes. Yeah, look at the good that's done us. It was a little scratch to his hand, no harm done. Tell that to Mr. Wilding. It's a situation that could have been avoided, Miss Adock. There hasn't been a single case of HIV cross-infection in schools. Exactly. That doesn't mean we can afford to take that chance. We can't have one person holding this information. I don't care what the guides say. It's not the way this school runs. I should have been told I could have put measures in place. Who else has been told about this? No one outside these four walls. And that's the way it's going to stay. Well, I think the best thing we can do is learn from this and move on. But you have to understand, I have the welfare of all my pupils to consider. Are you saying Ben's a risk? Mr Rimmer just means that by allowing key members of staff to know the facts, incidents like this can be avoided. How's that head of yours, Ben? It's much better now, thanks. No more larking about in the art room, eh? Yes, sir. Let's get off to lunch, then. Ben, I promise you, you're going to have nothing to worry about, OK? Yeah. Shouldn't be in there, McNulty. Why not? Because we don't want you infecting us. What are you talking about? What's going on? Let you play footy with us and everything. Even let you sit by me in class. Is this some sort of wine? No. You don't come near us. Got it. You said something, haven't you? I've only told a few people. Wait. Because people are saying things. Like, you've got it too. Well, you did snog him. Ben! Just leave me alone. I'm sorry. What the hell's going on? Miss Koreshi, can you deal with Danielle for a minute? What on earth's wrong with you? This is all my fault. What is... Oh, it's Alicia, see? She got me scared. Scared of what? I might have caught it too. Come on. Let's talk about this somewhere else. You told everyone. I didn't. Then how come all school knows? 
I thought we'd managed to keep a lid on this. Yeah, well, you thought wrong, didn't you? Look, once they've had time to digest everything... It doesn't work like that, OK? They don't just forget. They'll be reminding me of it every single second. Then let's try and make them understand. There's no point. I'm always going to be the kid with AIDS. No, you won't. Not with us there, fighting your corner. I don't want to fight anymore. I want to be able to go out and play football and not be worrying about getting hurt. I want to have a girlfriend and not be thinking about the day when I'm going to have to go and tell her. I don't want to know my CD4 count and my poxy viral load. I just want to be like everyone else. It's not going to happen though, is it? Because everywhere I go, this is coming with me. I've got Mrs Dillon on the phone. She's the fifth parent I've had in the past half hour. I'll just put you through. Mrs Dillon, what can I do for you? I can assure you, Mrs Dillon, we're not putting any of our pupils at risk. No, I'm not going to take anyone out of the school. You do that. Thank you, Mrs Dillon. I look forward to your letter. I think we've got a situation on our hands. I can assure you we're taking this very seriously. Will you go to the local paper if you want? You won't get very far. Why are they doing this? Bridget, I want a letter going out to all parents and pupils. At Waterloo Road, we have made it our sole objective to guarantee membership of this school to everyone irrespective of needs or disabilities. We have a strong ethos of pastoral care, uh, working for the welfare of all students and against bullying and intimidation. People would like to know the facts, Dan. This is all part of that Freedom of Information Act, isn't it? You've got it all wrong. No, I haven't. So, why did you tell me that I could have caught it? Everyone knows you can catch it through kissing. But you can't. I don't know why I believed you. Right. I've got a very important letter for you to take home to your parents. Bet they've excluded him. I want you to treat this as a friendly warning. I told you it was about Ben. Oh, what are they going on at us for? This is discrimination. This is all our fault. Are we still on for Saturday?